just happened to him, Alvin? Say something! <laughs> Everybody, Rebellia here with another episode of Tales of Arise. Uh, getting ready to fight Lord Almadria and free Mahogsar from the tyranny that she has caused. Now, I have already tried to record this episode once. I fought against Almadria about five times, and she kicked my butt every time. So, I actually went back to the boat that we used to get here. There is a store there that sells pretty much all the supplies you could need so um i went back i bought a bunch of supplies and now we're back so let's give this another shot shall we so we want to heal our health and our cp and we're gonna head up here and see well, if we can take this witch one down last place to look straight ahead there she is almadria but all alone Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my, and I see you came along as well, Dan and Witch. Oh, Madria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like a rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we Renans live by. Those with power set the example. And those without it are forced to obey. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Ren and authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Doheline. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <laughs> my, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dolhalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now... You will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! Enjoy your meal! 
That thing is huge and it hits hard. Level 30. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Finally, put the beast down at least.
Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So, I won't kill you. I'll take you in and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon. Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because you atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. <laughs> What the? This guy again? Who the heck is he? It's that swordsman again. Oh, I can't afford to fight him right now. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no. Forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Oh, she's gone. Silence now. Wretched sick. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. Uh So whose side is he on? Volron. Years ago, the Lord of Geneth Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. Alvin, are you stupid? Think you can cut me down? What? This guy's insane. Did the rest of the mass just shatter? Oh, whoa! He did know she are. Wait, what just happened to him, Alvin? Say something. <laughs> <laughs> He can feel pain now?
come and find me. If you truly are the Sovereign. Hmm. Oh, he is so dead. Test subject 1273, the spirit channeling ceremony will begin shortly. Until then, you are to calm your mind and await further instructions. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. Wait. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Might as well walk the block once more for old time's sake. Wait, where are we? Astral energy changing, um, charging almost complete. I'll put stable standing by. Okay, I don't know why, but this console only almost reminds me of those things that the people slept in in the movie Avatar when they would control the the Avatar bodies. What? Where the heck are we? Are so it was Alpha and Renin like this whole time. Can't you, Danins, figure out where to go on your own, or are you so stupid you managed to get lost in a tiny place like this? Oh, shush. You have a job to do. Now do it. Return to your position. Okay, so he is a Danin. Who's this kid? Daddy hasn't come home lately, so I decided to come visit him. But they won't let me go any further. It's not fair. I hope he finishes his work soon so I can see him. Why do I got a bad feeling about this? To be honest, I was beginning to sweat bullets if you hadn't worked out. Who knows what we would have done. This is the first time we've managed to assemble a sovereign and maiden ready for the ceremony after all. But seeing you make it all the way to, to today has put my fears to rest. What? Sovereign and Maiden? Could they be talking about Xion? The Maiden will maintain control over things. You just focus on not breaking your concentration while the ceremony is in progress. If you want to see your home again, you'll have to do a good job here. Number 1273. I hate it when they call you by a number rather than your name. To me, that's just so wrong. Okay, so okay, I think all that's left is I've got this one and the one in the center of the room. <clears throat> I don't know who got it in their head to start calling you sovereign. At the end of the day, you're nothing more than a test subject. Wow, jerk. Your only worth lies in your physical aptitude for the task at hand. Your thoughts and feelings are of no concern. Uh, give me the blazing sword so I can punch this guy. I mean, I, I just, I just want to rearrange his face a little bit. Uh, okay, let's talk to this last guy and get this over with. Oh, it's you, one, two, seven, three, or should I say, sovereign? You don't understand how much time and effort we've invested to create you and as our lone success. We can't risk losing you to injury at this stage. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. Okay. Wait, there's somebody there. She on? It's time, Alvin. It's finally happening, huh? Yes, we need to change into our outfits, then meet in front of the transference device. Once this is all over, you'll finally be able to return home. That is she on. It has to be. That's what I'm hoping for. 
I'm so sorry you got dragged into all of this. It's not your fault. Let's just do what we have to and get this thing over with. Right. I just wanted to go back. To Dana. To my home. And there goes the audio again. Wait, is that the Renaissance? Please. Wait, I... So this Naori is who put the mask on him, and I'm guessing that was to hide him or to protect I... him? What was that? Interesting. Wait, where are we? That... How long ago was that? Right, Shion. Apparently, that mask also blocked out his pain. Oh, right. That's what pain felt like. <laughs> <laughs> so much for it all being a bad dream. Where's Where am I? Where is everybody else? Where is everyone? What? So we don't have the blazing sword anymore. Good thing I wasn't too attached to it. I never could figure out how to actually use it, is the problem. I need to find them. Better start looking. But with his <sighs> pain sensory being back, being able to feel pain, it's probably a good thing that he doesn't have the Blazing Sword anymore. Oh, we did get the Master Core of the Wind. Cool. <sighs> Okay, so... Okay, so we have no idea where we are. We've got to find everybody. Niori. Shion. I...
wonder who this Naori is. Oh boy. Okay, this is kind of weird to fight without anybody. Like, seriously. It just feels weird. Come on. Alright, alright, come on. And of course, these are shell guys. I need law for this. And I can take them down, it's gonna take forever. Okay, finally took those guys out. Ooh. Yeah, he is definitely not used to pain anymore. Alvin? Then what? No more. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Mm. Are you alright? No. Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleen. Kisara and La are already there. Where are she on? Flynnwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Bolron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Bolron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> just a few things to work out. He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. Boy, am I glad to see you safe. Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. Yeah, not such a good thing. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. <laughs> I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived 
was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword, and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? That's what I've been wondering. They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? Different girl. Even I thought she was Xion. I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Could that be why Naori's they were after family her? family name was Imeris. <gasps> oh. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? Could they have been twin so sisters? So distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? Protect him. To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> Lives? You mean you staged a rebellion? Mm -mm. Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is a tale of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? Wait, what? But that'd make Alfin... Over 300 years old. <laughs> That's right. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. But... Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home. Committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. 
That can't be right because he only remembers the last year. Like, well, when he had so the mask. Much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined. Alfin, stop. Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. <clears throat> Kisara. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. <coughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? I agree with her. Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. <laughs> now that's true friendship. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. But if, if that is the case, and he's over 300 years old, when he had the mask on, he could only remember the last year or so. So how could he have forgotten basically almost 300 years of his life? I... Do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? I mean, you think about it. Like, for real. If this guy is over 300 years old, why would he forget... Well, I guess he'd be over... Three, yeah, he'd be over 300 years. So, how could he forget basically 300 years of his life because of a mask? I mean, where was he this whole time? The Danans just found him a year or so ago. Well, anyway, I'll let you guys all ponder that. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. This is a major revelation, and uh, I'm still having to process this myself. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and would like to see more content like this. Join the Wolf Pack. And <laughs> until next time, guys, I hope you all had fun, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!